Hi there. In this video, I will be using QGIS, uh, which is 3.2 BON. And uh, what I'm going to show you is the dist distance matrix tool. That's uh, one of the vector um, analysis tools that uh, comes with QGIS. What I, the, the purpose is, what I want to do is, this is my start point, this red star. And I would like to list all these green triangles in order of straight line distance. These are actually uh, theatres from OpenStreetMap. So um, how uh, uh, how good this list of theatres is, I don't know. Um, but uh, we're in Austria again. But it seems a good a data set as any to use for this purpose. It's not too large, so the processing will be will be very quick. So I want to list each one of these green triangles, each one of the dots, in order of distance from this starting point, which is this red star. So to do that, you go to Vector Analysis Tools and its Distance Matrix. I will select my starting point. So that's where I'm coming from. That's my initial input layer. I've only got one field in there, ID. And I want to look up all the theatres. And I know they've all got a name and uh, I will just get a full list of all the theatres. There's lots of details about the different uh, output matrix types and uh, I'll uh, go into that sort of thing a bit later. Um, but the default one is acceptable for this process. It's very quick as you can see, almost instant, because it is very, uh, it's a very small data set. If I go to the districts matrix here and open the attribute table so that's what it's, it's created. You can see there's 16. As you can see, the feature count there is 16 for the theatres. And if I order by distance, you can see what it's saying is that this theatre, at a distance of uh, just over a kilometre, is um, uh, the closest one, and the furthest one being uh, this one, over 37 kilometres. Uh, so it's outside of town somewhere. So certainly looking at the map, I'd say that one there is closest, followed by that one. So if we just turn off, actually not that, if we turn off uh, um, the distance matrix. So we're saying that one's the closest. So that's the record and the district distance matrix certainly confirms that. There we go. And if we click on the second one, which I reckon is that one there, it's that one. So I'm just sort of manually uh, looking at this and indeed and that's correct, that's the second one I've got in there. So it certainly looks good, the results look good. But what if um, we weren't actually interested in all these theatres, in all these green triangles uh, as part of the distance matrix? What if we actually only wanted the top five? Uh, the nearest five. Well, that's easy enough. We'll um, we could either recreate the matrix, or we can get rid of it uh, and and just add uh, lots of distance matrices as as we go along. I'll remove it just for the sake of uh, clearing the decks a bit. I'll go back to distance matrix. Add theaters. Name, but this time I'll select five. So, i.e., the nearest five target points. Let's close, look at districts matrix again, just open up the attribute table, sort by distance, and now we've just got the nearest five. Uh, and um, there we go. That's it really. Uh, distance matrix, very easy to use and uh, uh, very useful. Thank you very much.